We're back. <laughs> we are back. And today's special video because, well, we're here. Yes. So I thought I'd take advantage of being in Casa de Sensei Us. Yes, Us. Rocking the Ocasio True Martial Arts. Matching. And we had some big news, bro. Yes. If you guys don't know, which you should by now, yeah, this yeah. is not something we would normally do, but we have to cover it. Elon Musk. That's right. Tesla Motors. PayPal. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Man, it was PayPal. I forgot up. until you told me, but I did. I didn't know that. Mark Zuckerberg, head of what is it, Meta now, not Facebook. Yeah, Meta. Meta. He looks like a Meta fucking human. Anyway, yeah. that fight is apparently more legit than than you would think. That's what Dana's saying. Dana White is saying he wants to put on the biggest fight in his words in UFC history. We're gonna break it down. Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg. Who wins? Is this fight even real? What the hell are we even doing here? The breakdown, let's go. This is what Dana White had to say about a potential billionaire matchup between two dudes that we know can't fight, but one does have some training that we got know something. of. He does, he does, he got something. Mark's got some, some, Mark's got some Zuck in the game. He's gonna, we're, <laughs> we're gonna take a look at some of his training okay. footage. But Dana White, as you know, is known for saying, hey, we don't do the gimmicks. The gimmick matches. You don't do the gimmicks. So it's interesting to me and Sensei when we see Dana White on camera saying this. Can we be excited about this? Is there a possibility this is really going to happen? Well, just to, just to give some clarification. So what he said is Mark Zuckerberg responded with send me location, which is something that Habib Nurmagomedov says. First off, don't ever in your life. The fact that Dana White is even leading off by saying... Yo, just so everybody knows, for clarification purposes, Mark Zuckerberg said, send location, which he did, he did. You know Christian. what's funny? I think Zuck was like, he was like asking seriously though. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? That's just how he talks. Please send me the address. Send me the location <laughs> so I can analyze my said opponent. He's like, where will it be? Where is it gonna be at? Like, I think he was asking like, yeah, please send me location. Like legitimately so we can punch it in to like maps or whatever, but. <laughs> so that, that was what send me location meant. And, uh, I was talking to both Elon and uh, Mark last night. Both guys are absolutely dead serious about this. Now, wait, wait, wait. Can we, can, uh, how I, do you, would you, tell us why you say that. Because they both said, yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> they both want to do it. Mark Zuckerberg hit me up first and said, is he serious? And I said, I don't know. Let me ask him. I asked him and he said, yeah, I'm dead serious. You know, um, you know, obviously. This is crazy. He, I've heard him talk about like Brad Pitt, like, hey, if Brad Pitt wanted to fight, go do that like somewhere else. Elsewhere. Yeah, elsewhere. Like we're not doing that here. We did the CM Punk thing. We're not doing right, that Right, right. And then now here we are. You know why it is? The greatest fight in human history. He's gonna get to that. You know why it is? It's because Dana's greedy as fuck. Imagine the priority he just put on this fight. They were joking about it and, and serious. Sure, yeah. two, two dudes that can't fight, serious about fighting for charity, cool. It's gonna look awful. They can't fight. Yeah. But Dana White has put so much priority in this that the story came out two days ago. He was on TMZ the next fucking morning doing this. That's crazy. Mind you, he couldn't get John Jones and Francis Ngannou together. I think I think you know Logan and KSI are and the Nut Boys are growing on him. I think the you know what the influencer scene is growing That's on. That's not him. a bad point. Listen, because Jay, we, we talked about this off camera, but Logan and JJ. Is essentially, that was the fight for like our community, right? Yeah. You talk about like mainstream, like Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. Like we're talking American YouTuber, Logan. Biggest yes. American YouTuber, biggest KSI, YouTuber. two huge global YouTubers coming to meet head to head in the boxing ring. That's going to fight it out. This is what we're doing. And now he sees the power of it, but he's also been working with those guys, you know, with Brian. Yeah. Part of it. So maybe he's, you know, coming well, around. He's got the, the Rumble beginning. shirt on. And I guess that's his way of saying, hey, listen, I'm diving into the social media game, but I'm gonna do it my way. I just don't understand. He's the guy that says we don't put on gimmick matches. But does he do it like, does he do it in like a U? I I don't know if he talks about it, but like on it, not on a card, but it's his own card. Just its own fight? Or just like its own fight. Like, you know, how do you build a card around it? No, you can't have, you can, maybe you just do like its own thing. It's like a charity event and it's just like its own. That'd be fine. I mean, I that guess. Was, that would be fine. Now you just, now Dana White in the UFC is just going to be hosting this charity match yeah. that's separate. Not like bringing a guy onto a card like they would see him. Imagine having a fight. I mean, dudes would love it. For, for, and I agree with you, Harvey. This would be the biggest fight ever 
in the history of the world. That's crazy. You, I, I'm going to leave. I don't. The biggest fight in human history in the in, in the history he of the world. He doesn't. He doesn't say like like crossover fight. He's not talking about like celebrity fight. Fight. He said the biggest fight. Now, what which I, is crazy to me. What I think he probably means is what I what I said is he probably means that this is going to be the most watched fight. Right. That's what you assume. The most watched thing because I, it will be. You would you be it, you'd have to you'd have to convince me that everyone in the world. How many people care about two people more, right? Unless you yeah. put Donald Trump in there against like <laughs> Vladimir Putin. Yeah. <laughs> like if you, put, if you put the if you put forty five in there with Undercard, Murderer's Row of Russia, dog. It. <laughs> I'm just saying, that one's the biggest fight in human history. If we're being honest. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, one is. Yeah. Who wins that, by the way? You oh, know Putin. Putin wins. Dude. Yeah, Putin. He he's actually him tossing. He's yeah. a black belt in judo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a black belt. Yeah, he trained him. Around. I know he trained him, but yeah. Back in the day, like when he was younger, he did. Yeah, so that's the only thing I could see. You know, the word bigger is what throws us off. It's like, bro, what are you talking about? The biggest fight. The biggest fight. The, it, you, the connotation of it means how many people will watch it. I get that. But this is not the biggest fight. The only thing you can leave this fight being is, I mean, disappointed, to be honest. Like, is, yeah. you, you're going to build it up as this big thing, but people are going to expect them to know how to fight. And they won't. Um, bigger than anything that's ever been done. It would break all pay-per-view records. These guys would raise, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars for charity. And, uh, you know, you don't have to be a fight fan to be interested in this fight. You, you everybody would want to see it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that laugh is what it is. Everybody would want to see it until they saw it. Yeah. So Dana is saying that to say, okay, we're going to get your money. For charity, yeah. and by the way, for charity, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. down. Yeah, all for it, dude. I'm down with it, but stop calling it the biggest fight. You want to say it's the biggest event? Yeah, the biggest charity the, event. White collar fight. Yeah, but don't call it the biggest fight. Yeah. Because what you're paying for is not the fight. <laughs> you're not paying for the technical fight. It, it's it, like you said, it's like influencer boxing. You're paying for the event. Yeah, you're paying yeah, for the personality, yeah, 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 for the, for the yeah, person. Yeah. So when we say it's the biggest fight, we don't say Logan Paul versus KSI is the biggest fight ever. We no. say Lois, Logan Paul and KSI is the biggest fight in influencer boxing. Correct, history. right, exactly. We keep it a buck. But again, the numbers are what he takes a look at, and I get that, but... It's just quite ironic coming from Dana. I, again, you can't say this when you wouldn't book Francis and John based off not wanting to pay Francis the number or the Francis and Tyson Fury thing because we don't do those kind of fights here, these gimmicks Crazy. in boxing. Christian, roll the tape on what Dana said about boxing doing gimmick fights. He's like, I'm focused on fighting the best guys in the world. You know, I'm not interested in the gimmick fight right now. And that's one of the big problems with boxing right now is it's, it's all about these gimmicky type fights. And that's just not what I do here. It's not what I do. I, I put on fights with the best fighters in the world and, 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 and fights that people want to see. The same guy is saying he wants to put on, the day after they talk about it, and go back and forth on Instagram, he is reaching out to them personally. Let's let's just take a look because they're, they're, Dana, Harvey, everybody is saying that Mark Zuckerberg can fight and his stand-up game's dope. Let's take a look and see for ourselves. I'm just gonna say this, that alone, yeah. Is enough. Yeah, because he's been in competition. Yeah. You can clearly look, he's been training. Like, that's actually training, not just like dabbling. I, I, I want to know what the weight difference would be, but that alone, I think would be enough. Good job. Nice. ask a question is he making those sounds is that him? the reason i laugh is because I, my all i have is my head is dana going this stand up is good stand up is good that's and he's in a fight and then you you know what i'm saying like this is what i said if i just saw zuck training i'm like oh this is dope you know I'm, he's getting into martial arts i love it people yeah. get into martial yeah. arts but there's a lot of disconnection there. the reason i say this you gotta think about this I mean, you don't know about somebody like elon okay 
Zuck looks good, but we're thinking about two guys being at zero. Not everyone is just at zero. Right. Zuckerberg is a guy that we know because we can see him now start off with no Nothing. ability and no like intangibles. Nothing. Like, and you can tell that he's still a little green and he's like his reactions aren't great. Right. Right. So a guy that doesn't look like he's been in a fight before. Right. So we can see that he's made some progress in comparison to someone that we don't know about who could be at zero. But if Zuck is at four or five right now, if Elon comes in, he could be at four or five. We don't know. Some people are like talented or they've done stuff when they're younger. Maybe he did karate when he was a kid. We don't know. Maybe he did. He got in street fights and stuff. Like Africa, fencing right? or something. Maybe he boxed. Maybe his, his uncle boxed. Fencing? And, fencing might actually be there. Had a growth spurt and took up karate, judo, and wrestling to learn how to fight back. Look what we got here, okay. my dog. But I want to see it. <laughs> I told you, bro. I had a feeling about Elon. I had a feeling about my boy, dude. All I'm saying is, listen, no, listen. South Africa not known for its wrestling and, and judo. You, listen, you don't know. This or it's karate. He was. You know. This. Listen, he was sparring though. Karate, or, judo, and wrestling. If you did judo and wrestling, and he was in high school, and he was actually, let's say, in a yeah, gym, yeah. his he's gonna be better. He might be looking at Zuck like hey, he's trash. You know, you don't know that. You think that Elon walk like he's big. What let's look at Elon Elon's side. Maybe, maybe, bro. Bro, he did judo and wrestling and did karate. You just don't know if he was sparring. He was doing all of it. This is probably gonna be one of the most watched things ever. Is it actually gonna happen? What do you think? <sighs> I, I don't know because it could, man. It could. I really am confident that Elon will do it because he seems like a guy who's willing to do like an outlandish thing. Zuck. Though. And Zuck was the one that wasn't sure. But the fact that he's competed now, he's already got, got the confidence. he's got the momentum. Maybe. He's like, let's you know, let's take this yeah. risk. Let's like do this human thing, this human experience. You know. Let's do this. Human you know experience. what I'm saying? Let's get out there this in the is cage. What a human would do. Yeah, let's get out in the cage. How do I drink my water? And that's the thing. Dude, this is brand new. He's already been lived a whole life and then he's learned to fight elon learned how to fight and then yeah. lived his life yeah, you know what i'm saying so we don't know if the dude's been elon might be a gangster key. like that but we don't know if when how this happens all we know that dana white is a massive fucking hit. <laughs> but if he puts this fight on i can't lie we'll probably watch it oh, so yeah. elon, elon, twitter, twitter. <laughs> going twitter gang dude we need neil on the undercard dude facts neil versus jeff bezos undercard <laughs> oh yes and jeff on that dana white stuff buddy he's getting he's getting smoked either way you guys let us know in the comments what happens in this fight uh who wins and does it actually happen we don't got those answers but i guess we'll find out